I do. How did success influence or change the dynamics of your romantic relationships? That's a good question. But we both have been um, from uh, Julie, Julie Davila. Yes, Julie had that was a good question. Best question so far. So I was I met my wife right when I started my company. And um, before that, I dated a ton. I I was I was a big dog. I was a, I'm not saying it was successful. <laughs> Let me change that. I tried to date a ton. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I tried to, I, I liked women. Um, it didn't always work, but uh, uh, I prefer being in a relationship. Uh, being successful has been cool with my wife because it feels, because we are manage our success together. And like, I think um, for both of us, our wives were successful before we were. Yeah. My wife, yeah, more at least way more liquid. That's they made sure. they made more money faster than we than we did, dude. I'll say it. I mean, shoot, my wife was a self made liquid millionaire before I was. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, I think the same. I think same same is true for me. So so that was uh, that's the first part. Like you know how it's really you know how was success for them <laughs> was yeah. the real question. But I was yeah, like to be working like, with this marrying this broke, you know, broke entrepreneur who keeps trying to say he's, he's living the big dream, but you know, where's the, where's the success for like, you know, it's five years. That that's, that's the first question. So yeah, when I dated Sarah, her mom was like, so does he, and her parents are entrepreneurs. So they kind of got it, but like, does he have a job? Like, well, no, he's trying to start this conference thing. Well, where does he work? Well, he can, he work, works on his laptop. He can work anywhere and they didn't get it. And so my first year I made like 20 grand and then like 50 They're like grand. he's a wedding planner i think <laughs> yeah like so anyway like it, the, 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 my wife had a full-time job and she was probably making six figures straight out of college she went to an ivy league school and went to facebook anyway how how has it changed the dynamics it's made it in my opinion way better i do, do you got, we do all of our finances together Dude, we meet I, once a week and we go well, everything do you do the when same i started thing? Di- when i started dating my wife she um she had just bought her first house she was driving a bmw m3 sport I was living under my parents' house in a like they had like an in, uh, un, unpermitted in-law unit that I lived in with my my best friend from high school <laughs> lived in there with me, and uh, you know that's where that's where I was. I didn't have a car, didn't have a house. Uh, I had a job. I had a good job, I guess. But, um, but yeah, that's that's how we were when we met. And then you know, great. What does he do? He's the CEO of a startup. Okay, so you know. Is virtually, virtually unemployed, <laughs> you know, like on the brink of unemployment, <laughs> essentially was the, was the situation. Do Since you then, wish? I'll say one thing, which is as, you know, as good things started to happen, so it got, got promoted from like a product manager to CEO of like the company and then from CEO to like, you know, investing and then selling the company and all that stuff. There was definitely a period where I got a little cocky um, where not intentionally, but I, I look back now and I'm like, oh, I was kind of kind of being a dick. I sort of thought all these people I hang out with that are like, you know, super successful. I felt like they, they didn't have to deal with any of the bullshit at home that I was dealing with. It's like, okay, yeah, I got to take out the trash. You know, does my investor take out the trash? I don't know. Maybe he's got somebody who takes out the trash for him, right? Like, oh, I have to, you know, wake up at like right now I wake up in the morning at seven o'clock and from seven to 10 AM, uh, you know, I'm on daddy duty, taking care of the baby. And I was sort of like, don't, are we supposed to have like nannies for this? I, I was like very uh, spoiled in that sense. And I thought, well, no, I'm the like successful working guy. Right. So like, I don't have to do these like normal things. And so that was my like entitlement to myself. And then I realized two things. One is, uh, yeah, those guys do that too. That's, you know, a lot of the people that I was talking about that I admire, they did all that too. They just didn't complain about it like a little bitch. And then the second thing was that they, um, that like, who cares? Like do whatever, uh, do whatever works for you and your family and like stop being, stop holding your time as more valuable than my wife's time or that my kid's time or my dog's time or anybody else. I, I used to is kind of- Your dog's time. I, I used to think my time was the most precious and now I don't. Now I'm sort of like, you know, it's our time. We got to use it how we want. Do you, I, I think it's cool. We're both married. I think it's cool to have this like team mentality. You know, when my wife and I, so I, I we're both Catholic and even though we don't practice or anything, I was like, we have to get married in a Catholic church. It was important to me. And what that means is you got to go meet with the priest. And he was like, so why are you getting married? And, and, and we were like, well, we have similar values in life. We have the same goals. We just, we both want to take over everything. We um, want to have children and raise them in a particular type of way. We want to share our assets and pool together. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What about love? Do you guys love yeah. each other? And we're like, 
Oh yeah, 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 that too. <laughs> and so, like for us, it was definitely we definitely love each other, but also there was functional like, partnership. Like, yeah, it's like it's very. This is a very practical way to like live, go through life. Like it's very, it's easier for one another when you have someone that whose family you can count on them, no matter what, they're gonna have your back. So anyway, I've enjoyed uh, having a little bit of success while being uh, married. If you're single, I guess the pros could be like you could just like fool around with people way out of your league. But I do think that it would be exhausting and actually probably not as fulfilling, but maybe more fun. Man, I look back now when I I was single, you know, I was 25 years old, single, didn't own a possession in the world. And I was managing a bunch of people who were 10, 20 years older than me, had kids, had families, had mortgages, had all the stuff. And I thought at the time I was being super understanding about it. And now when I look back, I'm like, oh my God, I was such a idiot. Like I just didn't understand how, how hard it is for these people to give this much to a startup um, when they have all these responsibilities and obligations at home. And I was, you know, just a free bird, 25 years old. And, you know, I could piss my time away. It didn't matter. And like for these people, that extra one hour they were at work was now threw off the whole dinner time, bedtime schedule for them, their kids, their wife, you know, like all this stuff. And so I just look back now and I, I you know, I apologize to anybody I worked with then because I didn't truly understand. I thought, you know, this hustle culture was the, was the right answer then. And now, uh, and I didn't realize how much they were already giving. Uh, and I always wanted more. 